Caston Holt is his name. The only East Tennessee native who's going to be opening up for Lil Wayne when he comes and plays at Thompson Bowling Arena, a massive concert. It's the same week of the UT Georgia game. Big week in East Tennessee. Our Ellie Burr got to sit down with Holt today. So this is one I made in, in Atlanta with my buddy, um, with my buddy Ali, he produced this one. So from an early age, I just loved Lil Wayne and um, Eminem, Drake, uh, just names like that. And I've always just been into hip hop. Uh, yeah, for as long as I can remember, really, it's just always been my thing. Caston Holt, better known by fans as Captain, was born and raised here in Knoxville, another Gibbs High School grad in the music biz. When he heard his favorite performer was coming to his hometown, he knew he had to be there one way or another. I originally was going to attend the concert as a fan, so I had already bought tickets as close as I could get to the stage, and once I found out who was bringing them here, I just tried to email and uh, send them my resume and some past shows and some songs. His love of music came from his father who has worked in the industry his whole life. He will be the first act to open for Little Wayne on the Carter Tour at Thompson Bowling Arena. He says it's the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm hoping about seven songs of, you know, high energy, different sounds, if, you know, no matter what you're, you know, might like, I feel like you might be able to pick a song in the set that you might enjoy and that's the goal. It's that somebody can take something from it. So. Holt says if his younger self could see him now following his dreams and opening for someone he looked up to, he wouldn't believe it. He says being a UT fan since birth, performing at TBA is a surreal moment. Yeah, it's inspiring and great to like get an opportunity like this, but I don't want to see that as like a finish. I want to see this as like a start. So um, really it's the moment I'm after and uh, just keeping it up and not giving up and just being persistent and he tells me this concert on November 16th is only the beginning for him. He encourages everyone to never give up on their dreams. That's always been one of my goals is um, been to perform at Thompson Bowling. So getting that opportunity um, it's another you know dream come true uh, in itself and being able to welcome Wayne to Knoxville. I feel like that's that's a dream come true. He's my favorite. So in Knoxville, I'm Ellie Bird, WVLT News.